What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to a video called Bye Bye Vega Conflict, uh, in which I'm going to essentially just say bye bye to the video content being uh, uploaded and provided on my channel here uh, about Vega Conflict, and also using the opportunity later to thank my patrons still one last time in Vega Conflict, actually, uh, for their brilliant support. And uh, yeah, just also explaining what happened with Vega Conflict and how all that happened, right? Let me just say right here, guys, this doesn't necessarily mean there's never going to be any Vega Conflict content ever again. Uh, I'm still going to have a little bit of an eye at Vega Conflict and seeing what happens there. But let's put it, say like it is, unless there is like a complete overhaul in the entire core gameplay of that game, there isn't much of a uh, future for it anymore. And um, yeah, something I would still be thinking or considering is maybe some live streams with you guys if you want me to, right? Uh, something like that could still be doable. Um, but let's uh, let's go into the topic here, guys. What is going on wrong with Vega Conf? The, the answer is quite simple. It's Kixai is going wrong. Right? Um, the thing is that uh, the same fate happened with Vega Conflict that also happened to uh, War Commander and Battle Pirates. These games at a certain level of their development where Kixai certain somehow realized or the higher ups and Kixai realized that the games are working well enough they started ramping out the whole greed, the whole income and coin enforcement and all that. And we have here the GOAT leader, Uzama, uh, who was the leader for the entirety of GOAT, I think, for a very long time. GOAT being one of the first alliances in Vega Conflict, uh, I think. Here, we just had a battle, three minutes or two minutes of combat, and I have 14 hours real-time repair. So if I want to use this mad expensive fleet again and have fun actually playing the game i'm supposed to pay almost three bucks for this now is that a really good is that a game that you want to be playing is that what you become a high level player for to wait 14 15 up to three days in real time for one of your fleets to be repaired hell no that's not what you become a player of this game for right and um yeah they lost it they completely lost it and like i said here the goat leader uh, of um the uh the leader, Uzama, his name was, uh, basically he created a forum post twice already, once half a year ago and nothing changed and now he's created one more where he basically announced his goodbyes as well. He quit and that was, we're speaking about one of the biggest alliances in the game, one of the alliances that was there right from the beginning and it's basically dissolving itself now and he's saying Vega Conflict became a farming game where you should farm 90% of the time and 10% of the time is maybe a little bit of fleet versus fleet combat and only if you can really afford it because you, you gotta spend 200 bucks into the game just to be able to actually fight and not just have uh, farming fleets and farming repairs going on. Uh, the construction times are absolutely insane and refit times it's not even funny anymore it's like takes a month just to finish one ship and this repair time of the next topic up to two or three days of repair time in real time for one fleet how is that supposed to be fun you can lose that fleet in three minutes and that's it that's absolute horrible and uh, let's be serious this game is now something for coiners only the average or poor players will not be able to enjoy this game anymore and even if you dump a whole bunch of money in there and we're not speaking about something that allows you to buy a game every week we're talking about something that could pay your rent half the month and that's every week that's what we're talking about if you don't dump that in this game then you're likely not going to even do much in it anymore and then even then you're not even guaranteed to actually enjoy what you're doing so this is what we are here he has too many events he's saying too many things going on content is being spammed it's outdated by the time you are finally able to use the content that you have played for uh, we don't get the new ships before they're released uh, uh, before and when they're ready they're already new ones uh, we have only very little time to play we're human beings with day jobs and whatnot uh, so when we sit down we want to relax and enjoy a little bit of a game and not just have this torturous uh, experience the entirety of the time and he's uh, basically saying that it's a sad moment for him here um, uh, that he has to actually say goodbye to Vega Conflict at some point and I think someone calculated or he calculated himself that he spent and hopefully I'm allowed to say this uh, hopefully he's not killing me for that that he spent around thirteen thousand dollars or so in this game and it's actually nineteen thousand dollars I've talked to him and he's okay with me saying that here <laughs> that's just a high level coiner we're not even speaking about the super end coiner who really pushes the button till the limit and that shows you what this game has become and where we're, what we're talking about right I felt like I was gonna give you the honor of showing your post because uh, he, even though he's making this absolute very uh, nice constructive post uh, basically saying what's going wrong and wh what could be done about it and trying to stay nice even telling everyone in the comments to stay nice about it and uh, even though he's done all that 
Kickstarter has once again proven that they have absolutely not learned anything over the years of the player numbers dropping by 90%. Uh, they have learned nothing and they actually shut this post down. You have to imagine how absolutely far off they are from any kind of sense in, 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 their, in their acting and doing. And I don't know, man. Uh, one main event, one alien event, one riot and one civil war is what he would suggest that he would, we all suggested, uh, would be great. And we were also, we, we were always ready for communication, Kixa. We were always ready for for things that we have done, like interviews we've done with Lexi back in the days. We wanted more of that. We wanted to understand you you wanted to understand us that's at least that was that's what we were hoping for we were ready for this we were ready for you guys we were there for you just you weren't there for us kicksai and that's a very sad thing to happen um when it's just you know the players versus the game devs at the end it's not even fun anymore when it becomes like that and um yeah basically he's also saying that we're just not being heard anymore there's nothing we're actually being treated as we were the enemy the player base is the enemy those who finance the whole game you gotta imagine how absolutely ridiculous that is but hey this is what Uzama has been writing, I wanted to give him the honor of showing his post somewhere where it's actually being seen without being taken down by these idiots. And um, yeah, I'm sorry I have to be so harsh, but that's what I feel like they are. And here's some my milestones that I came up with that I finally really ruined the game experiences for me. The power creep, everything that's not the latest tech is absolutely useless pretty much. And uh, and this in a game where you invest into your collection over the years, in a game there, like a card game basically, where you invest so much into your collection that you want to be using this, and that's what makes you who you are in the game, this collection that you have gathered. And in a game like this, that destroy everything that's not up to date and make it useless, that's basically shooting yourself in the leg or in the head there at this point. That's killing your own business, Kixai, and you should have known better. Um, pay to play monetization model with two days repair time for three minutes of battle. Do I need to say more than that? I don't think so. This is just a horrible gaming experience. This is not even something you can actually call a game anymore. While constantly working on ways to reduce the positive side effects of skillful piloting to negate some of that repair time for players, constantly working against your own player base and it's just become so obvious that it's player versus kickside and not player versus faction or versus the plot or the story or whatever it's not even player versus player because everyone is just doing 90 percent event combat these days because that's so much content is being spammed and that's how fast new content is being made obsolete to spam out new content and sell it overpriced all the time you're not getting anything for your money spent in this game um and uh, I'm speaking about war robots in a second. I'm going to show you an example where it works and where free to play is actually done right. Except for here, which we have here, we have a perfect example of a pay to play example. It's even worse than f than pay to win. This here is actually pay to play. You cannot even play unless you pay. Uh, uh, of course, in the low level areas where there's little repair time, you can still have a bit of fun in the low level 20 areas. But as soon as you get higher, then you, you quickly realize this is over. There's no actual playing anymore. And uh, let's take a look into the future, shall we? Uh, we have plasma type damage coming up, forcing you to now maintain a complete separate alternative fleet for fleet versus fleet combat next to your event fleet and uh, keep up your farming fleet competitive at the same time somehow with a still same old long repair and refit times for basically half a, half a year for one fleet uh, if you don't pay up. And um, yeah, there once was a time where it was uh, truly different, where ships were truly different and unique before the grand rebalancing, before the grand leading of players began in Vega Conflict. There once was a time where controlling made the difference between a won and a lost battle. And uh, you used to be able to build three ships and use them well in fleet versus fleet and PvP. Comp and, and P uh, event and PvP and a repair time was always the problem in the game because that monetization model but at least the game was shining in other categories and the never ending greed of Kixa has kindly with has finally even gotten rid of that now um, I'm having a little bit of fun battles with Papa who's a really good player just take it as fun battles and nothing serious here please while I'm continuing on guys uh, the problem here with Vega conflict is not you the problem is not me the Kixa the problem is not even the the staff working for Kixa there or at Kixa the problem is really only a handful of higher-ups up there who tell those developers what they're supposed to do and how they're basically supposed to destroy the game in the process. So there's so many people who quit, Lexi being one of the community managers who probably saw this stuff coming and bailed it out as, uh, as early as possible. And uh, they're probably better off now than they were before. 
And um, yeah, as harsh as it sounds, guys, I feel like I really need to say it as clear as possible here. I don't think that these higher-ups up there are ever supposed to develop a game for the gaming industry again. I think they should be thrown out of the game gaming industry and should never be allowed to work on any public games anymore. Because they really hurt people with their nonsense and their absolute... Uh, crazy way of doing games in a way that is so malicious and using people's uh, uh, addiction or fun in a game against them and uh, this is just the worst really um, anyways this game has so much so much potential it had right wasn't it it's so sad such a great cross-platform game with the way you can really play on all the phone on the PC on Facebook on your all your devices whatever and play the same account with everyone who's playing who knows what, what they're playing on right and uh, it was working so well and had so much potential and uh, it was just ruined so badly by their own game team. How sad, right? And I've tried everything, guys. I've tried. I've tried uh, raging. I've tried constructive criticism. I've tried not caring. I've tried focusing on fun. I've tried it all and it nothing works. I've tried suggesting meetings, suggesting... Uh, you know, interviews, trying to work on getting the community together into the boat with Kickside together, trying to work it out and see what we can do together, come up with something that works for everyone. No, it was just Kickside against the players in the end, and not even not only in the end, it was uh, like that for many, many years, for two years at the very least, guys, and the end is what we can see right here, people bailing out, and um, yeah. Very sad. The uh, thing is though, and what's really good, we had so much fun together, I'm never going to forget that. And uh, like I said, there might still be some some videos, or maybe some, uh, yeah, more likely some live streams with you maybe. Uh, but uh, there might still be something like that coming, I'm not 100% gone. Uh, but don't really rely on Vega Conflict content to pop up anymore. I basically, I once I did what I did at the end, I updated the farming playlist. So this should be working for you guys if you're starting up and want to have a little bit of fun with the lower area of the game. You should be able to use the farming playlist. I'm linking it to the video description of this very video here once again. So you can check it out and see that it should be working for you with the auto farming fleets in there. Uh, but hey, we had so much fun together during live streams, event videos, reading your guys' comments. It was also great and I'm really hoping, guys, that you did came to appreciate my my personality a little bit and also the kind of stuff that I do in general. Not only Vega Conflict, so I might be able to take some of you guys with me for uh, whatever comes after, right? Right now, I'm here with War Robots and War Robots is a game... Uh, I'm just gonna like two, sen two sentences about War Robots. It's a very nice free-to-play experience, especially for someone coming from Vega Vega conflict where like all this pay to play stuff happens I really appreciate the way War Robots is handled where you can actually just log in and play as long as you want no repair time no system forcing you into stopping to play unless you pay this is actually that's how I imagine myself uh, playing a free to play game and having fun with that and yeah that's that's what it's just great at and it's really good at doing so and my channel is finally going back up experiencing a growth something I didn't even know anymore because there's actually a game being done on this uh, on this uh, uh, on the channel that has a future that is not being destroyed by its own game de developer team. Right? And in case you're a War Robots follower of mine and would like to know how bad Vega Conflict has really become, then let me give you three examples of what War Robots had to become in order to not even be as bad as Vega Conflict is right now. Okay, basically, you would have new weapons coming out every half year for War Robots that are three times as powerful as the existing ones, but only equipable and available to the latest faction bots, in this case the dash bots for example, then the robots could only be upgraded by farming many different parts for ages and those ma those upgrade requirements in parts are so massive that without spending 200 bucks you will never get a bot high highly upgraded, while the lower upgrades are kind of useless and only the high upgrades, so the pay exclusive upgrades really give you good bonuses. And then the third one being that your robot hangar has now a 12 to 24 hour repair time in real time after each battle, where we have to say that even there you still have more play and fun time playing in War Robots as you had with a th 2 minute or 3 minute battle with a 24 hour repair time in Vega Conflict. Those three things together would still make War Robots a better game than Vega Conflict is right now when it comes to the free to play aspect. And uh, yeah, just giving you an idea of how bad it had become.
But we will also keep live streaming on the Twitch channel, link to the description as usual. All kinds of fun games, including, uh, you know, some Vega conflict in the future, I guess, maybe, could be possible. And some other games that we have been doing on the other YouTube channel that I've mentioned in another video. We're doing some uh, Starfall tactics, some Beyond Dark. So you're still going to get pretty much the same thing that you got before. Uh, uh, minus Vega conflict as massive amounts of video content because I just don't see how this could be beneficial in any way to my channel anymore uh, with this dying game. Very sad, but it's the sad truth. Unfortunately, guys, now regarding patrons, this is a uh, an honest video, so I'm also going to be very honest about the next topic. Patrons dropping out of my Patreon thing. It's natural, it's a normal thing to happen. They most of all came for Vega conflict and even most of them stopped playing Vega conflict and they stick with me for a long time um, and and still supported me but eventually they drop out and now also I stop out of Vega conflict so it's gonna get a little bit less on, on Patreon I'm trying and hoping that some of you guys will maybe even join me on Patreon I could really use the help right about now more than ever guys uh, so if I've ever been able to help you with anything this could be the would be the perfect time to help me out in some way I'm gonna have to update the Patreon video of course and stuff like that but yeah this is uh, this is um, going to uh, be the thing right now and uh, Vega and, and yeah I still have and, and that's the cool thing we have found so much friendship there and so much cool community such a cool community has been created in discord group chat and stuff we're playing together we're doing live streams together something I'm also doing more on Patreon now live streams with co-op partners there uh, on the on the as a as a patron uh, perk right so yeah this would be something you could check out guys but of course I know and I have to know that there will be some people going away from from Patreon now since they are if, uh, originally came for Vega conflict and some of them I might not be able to entertain with something other than Vega conflict I have to understand that and I absolutely do so yeah I'm gonna use this opportunity now the last time inside of Vega conflict to thank my patrons for their awesome support and then the next month will be filled with other games content uh, to uh, to express my gratitude towards their brilliant support right there thank you guys so much for your help and here we go with the first ones. First of all, I want to thank my friend Sin Davy, who not only played Players Unknown Battleground with me during a live stream, but also got himself escape from Tarkov now. So once we can figure out how to crisscross server regions, if that's even possible, uh, we can play together and, uh, and go for some awesome stash runs. And how could I ever forget my good friend Vadenbeis, who's not only a patron, but also someone who visits my live streams regularly and even there helps me out with some in-stream donations, man. Thank you so much. I also want to thank my long-term long moderator, Toxic, for his massive support too. And of course, Bammers from the German Order, my friend Maya from the Alliance Aussie. Uh, is it still true? Uh, and Anubis DFL from Oops Skulls. You guys need to let me know if something has become outdated or maybe you're playing War Robots or a different game now and have a different clan tag or want to mention something else, right? Just keep me updated guys, if possible. Furthermore, we've got Risky from the Rough Raiders division, my friend Moongod, whom I'm uh, like to uh, check in for another Stargate Universe TV session sometime soon, okay buddy? Uh, <laughs> the, the Big Kabovsky from All Imperial Forces, Chris Schendel, Kass, then Cleomedes from POW, is that how you say it? POW, POW! <laughs> uh, Will from the Elite Alliance, Luke34 from Senior Hunters Resurrection, uh, Wizard Prank, Amiga Cybrin, who's also been co-op playing with me a bunch of times. I will be saying something more about co-op in a, in a minute uh, after all this, okay? Skill Ganon from BB63. Dave from 1ABV. Damien from GOAT3, which I think must have been changed, because I don't think GOAT3 exists this day, these days anymore. Miasma from the Silent Death Force. Brian from uh, uh, Brian, aka Batu of Nexus from Downfall, which sadly isn't only an alliance in Vega Conflict, but also what happened to it, right? <laughs> Gosh dang it. Kickside, why? Uh, there are also so many $5 patrons, which I also want to say a big thanks to, um, because believe it or not, guys, those $5 patrons actually make so much help happen here. Um, uh, because they're like, okay, $5 don't hurt me in any way. I gladly put that to good use and help Manny's channel out. And that's really what's happening. They keep me that channel alive with your support, all of you guys. Uh, so right now, without you, I'm 100% sure I couldn't be doing it. And... Um, yeah, that's why I also like to say uh, every little bit of support helps out so much. Even if you think that doesn't make a difference, it actually does, guys. Uh, so thank you, guys. 
for every single one of you, including the ones who rather stay anonymous and haven't been mentioned here, uh, to even go one step further, having you guys found is probably one of the biggest reasons I say the journey with Vega Conflict, despite all the troubles, was still an experience that I never want to miss out on. And uh, But yeah, I want to be doing more co-op play with patrons, and uh, I really enjoy having you guys around, so that's why the $10 perk is, uh, is actually called Co-op Patron. Um, and that's what I want to intend or what I intended it for and want to be using it more for all right guys Like I said, we might see Vega conflict in some form of live stream still coming up uh, I'm not gonna say no to that in general and maybe for some events. Let's check it out, right? Uh, but it looks like you guys um, Yeah, you guys are also getting a lot of other stuff here and uh, more live streams for all kinds of games still on the twitch channel, right? And uh, yeah, so that's something I'm definitely keep up keep up because uh, I think you guys especially patrons love Hanging around in live streams, and I'm gonna hopefully have you guys around still few in the future. And uh, maybe I can even find a few more of you out there that have not yet been supporting me and would like to help me out, or maybe I've been helping you in some way. It would be great. And one thing though, the higher donation goals on the uh, Patreon page was normally supposed to cover for live streams, but I will try my best to keep it up, even though we're not there yet. Maybe, hopefully. Eventually, we can somehow get back up there. That would be great. Oh, look, I'm level 10 on the new VIP system. Hooray! And the other account is level 8 or about to be level 9. Uh, and I don't even want to know how much I actually spent over the years to get these bonuses that are not going to really change much, guys. Uh, especially considering there's no bonus to repair time. So, sorry, Kixai, it's not good enough. All right, guys, we're back here on my main account in the base. And the thing left to say really is... Thank you, Vega Conflict, for everything you have done for us, for me, for everyone. Uh, in the time period in which you were allowed to be awesome, because there was certainly that time, and we all had fun playing it then. And uh, you connected us in a way that not, I think, every game would be able to, right? So, uh, unfortunately, in the end, your parents were shit, your parents were holding you back. Uh, but um, we still appreciate the good time. And um, yeah, maybe there's gonna be some live streams. There's an event coming up in a day and seven hours. Maybe I'm gonna check it out in a live stream or something. See what happens with Vega Conflict from this point on. See you guys, Money Gaming signing out.